finally we are free. Let's go home. Push the button. That's food. Can you smell it? I think I'm hungry now. What shall we do? Where can it be? Let's look around. Oh, there is a canteen. Shall we eat? Next class, you are going to have a discussion in your physics lesson. When you need to state your point of view, you are likely to use some verbs. But do you remember how to connect two verbs together? There can be three ways. The first, to insert preposition to in between them. The second is to join them together without anything. And the third one is to add the ending ing to the second verb. Your choice will be determined by the verb you are using. You can see the table with three columns, which show how to use some very common verbs. Stop the video and look through the table. Then follow the link you can see on your screen and learn the words. Today at the lesson we will talk about diffusion. You already studied this topic in the seventh grade. The spread of one substance in another substance is called diffusion. You can see it in uh, other substance. Uh, do you remember what is solid, liquid or gas? To make it clear, let's revise. All matter around us consists of small particles. We call them atoms. The particles are in random motion and they interact with each other. For example, imagine that pixels are molecules. In the first video you can see a solid. In the second video this is a liquid. And uh, you can see the gas. And now think about the following questions. Why cannot we wash black and white clothes together? Why do molecules of food reach to your nose? Now let's write down your homework to the next lesson. In your homework you need to fill in the table, in your copy books. Think about advantages and disadvantages of the diffusion. You can use these pictures. Uh, and now the lesson is over. I wish you all the best. Goodbye.